What's going on guys? It's me, Dreamliner Fan 2016 here, and today we have another Roseville International Airport update for you guys, and this will be for the month of 2022. I hope you guys are excited for this video, because we got like a loaded airport update for this month. Travel demand is beginning to increase since it's summer, and yesterday was actually the first day of summer as of this recording. So I thought of making this like a very special summer scene airport update with all like the travel demand increasing and more airplanes are coming to airports. We may get a couple of heavies in this airport update, which is very exciting. And if you guys are wondering why am I filming in, the, in my parents' room, well, I was gonna film outside but it ended up being windy so I decided to go for my parents' bedroom instead. So yeah, that's the reason why. So without further delay, let's start off with our very first aircraft. We'll start here of course with Gate Alpha 1 and currently taxiing to the gate, we have a Delta Airlines Airbus A330-300 that just arrived from Minneapolis-St. Paul and soon we'll be heading back out there for an evening flight later in the afternoon. So Delta Airlines continue to work on their, I think Minneapolis-St. Paul is like one of their hubs, but they're going good with that hub right there along with Atlanta. And yeah, it's pretty nice to see like a Delta AC30 coming to Roseville. Mainly they would get like 737-900s, but they did swap in for like an AC30-300 because of like the huge passenger demand. Next up at Gate Alpha 2, we have this United Airlines Boeing 757-200 in the evil blue livery. This aircraft arrived from JFK Airport and will be heading down to Houston IAH, Houston Intercontinental International Airport in that case for like an afternoon flight. So this aircraft will arrive from JFK like 11.30 in the morning and it'll actually head, head back to like, well technically I'm not saying head back, but it's gonna be heading down to Houston later at 1.30. So it's gonna take a long while, but regardless enough, United doing their thing at Houston and it's nice to see all those flights come there. And Gate Alpha 3 remains vacant, so no aircraft currently situated at this time, but I'll talk about those aircraft later in, in the video on where they are now. Man, it feels good to finally have this mall into my collection. But here at Gate Alpha 3, we finally have Breeze Airways Airbus A220. This aircraft arrived from Richmond, Virginia, two times flights per week, and soon we'll be heading back there in the afternoon. So, minus the Breeze certification issues for the A220, this aircraft really fits perfect for many of their long haul flights to the west coast. San Francisco also gets some flights from Charleston, Louisville, San Bernardino, and Westchester County. And yeah, it's pretty nice how Breeze ex is ex It's pretty nice to see Breeze expand their west coast routes from like mainly in their hubs in Richmond. I think that's that's one of their hubs that I can think of, but Richmond is a good hub for Breeze and once again, Bree's doing their thing and I'm really proud of their efforts. And how about this amazing asset right here? Man, it's really nice to have these back at many airports across the US. But right here, we have a United Airlines Boeing 777-200 with the configurated Pratt & Whitney engine. So, as you may all know, these 777s have been back to service after that February 2021 incident with that United 777 at Denver. And it really took like a couple of years, like one year and a couple of months to get this back in the air. So really nice to finally have this aircraft back in the air. And of course, really nice to have that aircraft in my airport update. So this aircraft will be making a long haul flight from Kahului after arriving at Roseville from Kahului a couple of hours ago. So this aircraft is currently, there's like a loading truck right there, baggage lower cargo holder. Yeah, that's a cargo holder. And currently, it's going to be heading back to Kahului. I would say this can be like a 2 o'clock departure for this aircraft right here. And over here at Gate Alpha 6, we have this United Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Evo Blue livery. First time having this model into my airport update. And honestly, the 737-700 does look nice on their Evo Blue livery. I know Gemini Jets has already done like the United 737-700 in the Evo Blue livery for the June releases. And surprisingly, this is Gemini Jets' first ever... 737-700 with split so I was quite surprised on how they would like release that after like it took like I would say it took like a couple of years for them to make and really glad that they're making it I wish they can do some Southwest splits later and later down the line but we'll just have to wait and see so anyways this aircraft arrived from Newark Liberty International Airport for its evening flight right there and soon it'll be heading back to 
Your Liberty for like an 11, I would say just like an 11.40 departure or 11.30 departure at Sacramento. It usually arrives in the evening, but I quite got heard of, like I heard, I heard that they were going to be using Max 8. Well, they technically are starting to use Max 8 for their Newark Liberty service down to Sacramento. So I'm quite surprised on how they would send that to Sacramento. I may have to get a model of a 737 Max later down the line. Just have to wait and see. Gate Alpha 7 remains vacant, but we do have an aircraft coming in later down the video. Currently pushing back at Gate Alpha 8, we have this United Airlines Boeing 787-10. And this aircraft will be heading down to Washington Dolls for a 9.30 departure. Currently at the process of boarding at Gate Alpha 9, we had this Delta Airlines Boeing 737-900ER, and this aircraft arrived from Atlanta, and soon we'll be heading back there for an afternoon flight. And here is like one of my newer models that I acquired, but we do have a United Airlines Boeing 777-200ER in the Star Alliance livery. And this aircraft arrived from Chicago O'Hare, and soon we'll be heading back there for like a five o'clock departure. So. Once again, this is a very nice model from NG Models, and NG Models did a very good job on this model right here. Mine is that one missing antenna at the top, but regardless, it's still a great model to have. And transitioning to the last two gates at the terminal, we do have a vacant gate at Gate Alpha 11, so no aircraft is arriving at this time, but like I said, I'll go into those aircraft once we get into like the taxi shots. But we do have a CRJ-200 by Delta Connection at Gate Alpha 12, and this aircraft arrived from Portland, and soon we'll be heading back there. This is a recent arrival, so I think like the departure for Portland can be somewhere around, I would say, I would say 4.30. I would say this would be like a 4.30 departure out to Portland. So yeah, that is it for the terminal. Now, like I said, we do have some taxiing aircraft that I do want to show you guys, so let's get into those aircraft. I know this is kind of like my first attempt of doing a KRVL taxiway. There's no like any details, it's just like a plain white board. But regardless, I'm kind of like okay on what we have so far. But regardless, we do have a United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER that just arrived from Denver at 3.06pm and is gonna make its way all the way to Gate Alpha 7. Next down the line, we have this Delta Connection CRJ-700 filling in for a Delta Connection Ember E-175. Once again, Gemini Jets, please make that model. We would love it. And this aircraft arrived from Seattle and it's going to be taking Gate Alpha 3. Next up, we have this United Airlines Airbus AC-19 in the EVO Blue Livery. And this aircraft arrived from Houston IAH from an afternoon flight. Now, I did say for the United 757-200 that it was actually going to be departing for Houston for an afternoon flight, but this is actually going to be the departure for the afternoon flight. The United 757-200 is actually going to be an evening flight, somewhere around 7.30 in the evening. So this one's going to be heading down to Houston IAH later down in the afternoon, and that's going to be the 1.30 departure. And the final aircraft to finish off this update, we have a Delta Airlines Airbus A321 in the same delivery. And this aircraft arrived from Salt Lake City at 2.15 p.m. And like I said, what a beautiful livery Delta has. It really thanks every single employee from Delta from all their hard work. And I know this is a Gemini Jets model. I may consider getting the NG version soon, but it's not in my criteria as of yet. And that'll do for this update. And as per usual, I do have some things to say, so let's move into that. Man, KRVL has been growing ever since. From all like the heavies they come in to like the travel demand. I know we're already in summer and there can be some flight cancellations that happen along the way. I know that's kind of like a problem for this summer. Delta has canceled a couple of flights for the summer which is quite unfortunate. But regardless enough we do have some very nice stuff that are happening at KRBL. Of course we got Breeze Airways at the Concourse Alpha and got a couple of heavies like I think there are more heavies for this update than my previous ones mainly we would get like two but seeing four heavies is is a nice treat I tell you what and like I said very nice to see KRVL expand their route network well, like all across the country and hopefully soon the international sector but KRVL they're doing a nice job and many of these employees are doing their best so yeah Anything else I do want to like talk about? Oh yeah, so like I said, the Pratt & Whitney 777 engines are back, the 777-200s in general in this case. So really nice to see United bring back their 777 Pratt & Whitney engine configurated planes back to service. 
either a faulty, well, well, a faulty malfunction with the engines. But regardless enough, I hope those vid, I hope those engines work well. And yeah, so summer is gonna be a heck of a ride for me. Hopefully, I can at least do some traveling throughout the summer. I would love to travel throughout the summer by plane, but hopefully soon. I could try flying with United throughout the summer. I would love to. But regardless enough, they do have some very nice uniqueness to KRBL. So yeah, that is about it for this video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.